Hello everyone, it's Tom Fira PK. Welcome to the first video of a new series that I'm going to start on my channel. This is about tutorials, basic tutorials for the beginners. After Gates of Hell released, we have a lot of new players and they all completed the single player missions. You know, there are not much to do in the single player. And after seeing videos about editor battles from myself and others, uh, a lot of the people wants to learn how to use the editor. Some of them know by watching previous tutorials, but people uh, are still confused if the Men of War, Soul Squad 2 and Call to Arms tutorials are similar to the one in Gates of Hell. So I decided to start a new series about Gates of Hell basic tutorials for the beginners. Here I'm going to show people, uh, the new guys, uh, how to use the editor in a more basic way. For example, how to start map making, uh, how to place textures, uh, how to use the terrain and then in F3 mode, you know, this mode where we script battles and missions make mods uh, how to script for the basic point I mean for basic part of scripting so uh, a small note to all the people who are watching this video uh, if you don't understand what I am saying or what I am speaking just follow the video it will be very helpful if you just follow the video uh, what I do uh, the rest of the thing you guys will understand yourself it's very basic it's very easy the editor is not something that is complicated I know that I am an experienced user of the editor that's why I can say it's very easy but trust me uh, just follow what I do and you guys will get the hang of it all by yourself. Alright, so let's open up the editor. For today's video, it's just basic. What is the editor? How to open it and what are F2 mode and F3 mode that we always talk about. So this is the map editor. This is the entity section on the right side. Uh, here we have all the entities soldiers breeds construction for example here we have the buildings if you guys go over to this section you guys can search for everything here uh, these are some of the modded things <laughs> ignore this uh, well as I'm a modder I have some extra things that I ported onto the game so you guys won't find a couple of things that I have listed here so let's just ignore this so first I recommend that you go over to this construction section landscape and find out what are the things that are available inside where will I find which things alright so in order to open a map all you have to do is select this section map untitled on the top right corner of the screen click and this map editor menu will pop up here you will select new uh, yes select yes if this message comes about confirmation then select yes all right now we have set up landscape okay so do not touch any of the settings uh, this is map size the default is 200 into 200 but there are other values 300 400 500 okay we have terrain like ground swamp road snow water uh, we do not need to touch this so remember don't touch any of the things this is for the basic people I mean the beginners not the basic people oh, this is for the beginners do not touch any of the setting uh, if you want larger maps select 
any of the higher values but I prefer starting with 200 into 200 select OK and here you have your map this is the landscape uh, this is actually the F2 mode that we were talking about uh, F2 mode F3 mode so this is the F2 mode here what you, what happens in the F2 mode is that F2 mode is only for map making and F3 mode is for scripting battles making missions adding uh, dialogues to missions uh, in a more basic way F3 mode is for scripting missions scripting battles and F2 mode is only for map making I suggest you guys not to place infantry and vehicles in F2 mode vehicles which are drivable uh, after creating a map for example if we place uh, let's go with uh, rural uh, buildings uh, this is F2 mode F2 mode where we place buildings make maps wow, what where did it go? Okay, so this things that you guys are watching here, uh, the reason this is happening is that uh, the game, the gem editor is a bit unstable at this point, but it will soon be fixed. So what you have to do is in order to fix this terrain problem, this landscape problem go to second or press 2 on your keyboard so this is the uh, height section where you add uh, hills and then polygons I will come into these things later so before going further uh, I'll do step-by-step -step tutorial videos about all the things in the editor okay I promise that I'll bring videos as quickly as possible but as I am a mod maker and I love to create editor battles some videos might come late but they will come it's a promise so where was I yeah in order to fix the landscape problem click on clip height map all right after you are done clicking simply uh, save the map like uh, new press enter and now there shouldn't be a problem just clip the height map press the clip height map uh, tool over here and then everything will be fixed so where was I yeah this is for map making only uh, you can place a lot of things uh, like flora this is the section where you can add trees and uh, grass and everything when you learn or when you know how to use the editor or when you are done learning how to use the editor uh, you will have unlimited access to do whatever you want with this with this the editor the map editor you can create any kind of battle you can create anything uh, with your imagination Remember, you must have a very strong imagination in order to create a very well detailed map. You guys must be like uh, saying that, wow, he makes so good maps. Why cannot I do that? Why do I always place everything together like this, but not like this? Perspective. You must have perspective. must have perspective 
are placing things like this instead of placing things like this all together you must know where to place the things which thing suits in its better place all right so this is the f2 mode and if you press f3 on your keyboard uh, you will have mission untitled on the top right corner of the screen this is where you create missions here you can place soldiers soldiers and vehicles here you can place soldiers and vehicles alright so this is the F3 mode that is for scripting battles and missions alright so this was the basic part of the editor where you guys can script battles make maps F2 mode is for map making F3 mode is for scripting battles and missions and if you hang around for at first do not try to uh, go beyond okay don't try to learn the things uh, as fast as you can try go step by step for example learn how to make maps first if you are an expert on map making that is good upload your work on the workshop so that thousands of people can play and also credit you that this map has been made by this guy why you go into making bad maps and then making stupid battles why uh, people don't download those kind of things if you want to appreciate people about your work I prefer to do those do the things step by step for example first I learned how to make better maps then when I was an expert on map making I slowly learned how to make battles but that is the most hard part creating maps is far more easier than creating scripted missions first I learned how to script battles like how to place enemy and friendly force in the ground and then uh, click start and then they will fight each other so yeah there are some steps into doing that so I urge you guys to learn how to make maps first there are a lot of things so I will explain that on future tutorials step by step so hope this basic tutorial the first video helps the guys who are beginners and want to know how to start the editor what is F2 mode and what is F3 mode alright so thank you guys for watching on the second video we will learn about how to add texture to a land and then how to use height so these are all basic things I will try to teach them on a more simple manner for you guys to easily understand Alright guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys on the next video.